Good evening, everyone. Uh, I would like to welcome you to our session today and welcome Dr. Hoda. Hello, Dr. Hoda, how are you? Welcome, dear. Welcome, Maria. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Dr. Hood. Uh, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Maryam Naz. I'm going to be your session coordinator and I'm going to be your coordinator for Dr. Hood's course. Uh, I hope today's session is going to be really valuable to you. We're going to talk about, we're going to, to explore the medical university requirements for biology, either national or international. We're going to know the difference in relationship between biology, OL, AL, and human biology, and explore the contents of the biology curriculum sections and how to deal with each of them. And we're going to know how the OL, AL, and human biology courses are all linked together. I will leave you in really good hands now with Dr. Huda. She has more than 20 years of experience teaching IGCSE biology, and she's also a winner in Cambridge Award for innovative use of ICT in teaching. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me or Dr. Huda anything. Okay, look. Yes, I'm launching now. Good evening, dear all. Um, I hope you are yani, staying safe away from the COVID-19 and so on. Today, I'm going to discuss with you the um, human biology or the difference between it and the other curriculum. Okay, you needed to know if you are sitting for a medical school If you are intending to join medical school, I mean, if it is an international university, or the local ones, the governmental ones, There's a big fat difference. First of all, you need to decide if you are joining a medical university in international, sorry, a medical school in the international university. Okay. First of all, step number one, you need to seek for which university are going to join. Because um, out there, Okay, in Europe or in the States or in Canada or whatever, okay, sometimes they ask for three A levels. For example, in university in, um, in Germany or something, okay, they need three A levels. Some universities in Canada or in the States, they ask for not only A level for British education, they ask and for UAE, okay, so that's for USA and that's for UAE, USA, okay? Sometimes they ask for SAT, okay? And sometimes they ask for AP biology, but that depends on which university are going to join. In Canada, the issue is different. Sometimes they ask for two A-levels, this is some universities, and some ask for uh, uh, three A-levels. So step number one, you need to seek which university you are going to join. For the governmental one, okay, to join the uh, Faculty of Medicine, or dentistry or pharmacy, you need to um, take eight O levels and one A level, which is the A level biology. 
أنا دلوقتي I need to know what are the eight O levels. There must be five of them. اللي هما هيكونوا English, Biology, Math, Chemistry, and Physics. These are essentials. These are the essential subjects. Non-essential subjects here you can choose from a gallery. Some of you, okay, because they studied the O-level biology and they are starting their A-level biology thing, okay? They like to study human biology. Okay, fine, I agree this. Because if you are joining medical school, human biology is a very good curriculum that help you in the faculty of medicine or even pharmacy or dentistry, okay? You can pick the other remaining subjects from a gallery of subjects that are offered at your school, like myself, for example, economics, accounting, business, Arabic, uh, a question, please, Ma'am Hood. Um, about in Egypt, are the Arabic is essential subject or no? There are essential subjects. Yes, in all in in all levels, those are the essential subjects. Oh. Egypt. This is in Egypt. Okay, and A level biology with them. But again, um, again, yes. Uh, talking about it, um, the human biology just for the medical ones or for all no, the. You, you can pick it even if you are going to um, uh, join any other college. And you, you can you, you choose this human biology thing, whatever the intention is. It is just an all level subject. You suppose mm -hmm. that you are you know, joining. Um, um, let's say uh, 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 um, Faculty of, of, of Commerce mm. yeah. and you need to pick just eight or levels, okay? Mm. Yeah, I got it. You can take them. Suppose that you are go joining the Faculty of Engineering and all level biology is too much for you and you like the human biology, you can, you can take human biology. So human biology here is not restricted for those who are picking the uh, medical schools. Okay. okay. So again, uh, it's not an essential subject, by the way. Human biology is not an essential subject. Again, I'm referring those are the essential subject. Again, they are essential for those who are joining all medical faculties. But let me suppose you need to join Faculty of Engineering. What should I do? In Faculty of Engineering, you don't have to take biology, but you have to take the English, math, chemistry, physics, you can drop the O-level biology, but you can pick from the other ones like human biology, economics, accounting, business, Arabic, even French, ICT, computer sciences. You can pick any of those, okay? But essentially, you have to take those for Faculty of Engineering, plus, of course, the A-level math, and preferably, a student needs AS physics, even if he is not going to sit for the exam. But compulsory is this A-level math and those subjects. Okay, so again, human biology is not restricted for those who are picking medical faculties or medical schools, no. Okay, even um, somebody want to join the Faculty of Commerce, Faculty of Arts, um, uh, faculty of uh, political sciences, and he need to complete the O levels. He can take the human biology. Is it clear so far?
Do I hear yes? Is it clear for so far? Okay, so we need to know the difference between biology or level biology. Actually, I need to give it its rightful name. It is IGCSE biology. Because if you mention O level biology, this is a totally different curriculum. O level biology has a has a, a curriculum code of 5090. But IGCSE biology, this is the one we are dealing here in Egypt, has a code of 0970. And this is the one who is intending the grade threshold from nine to one. Okay, passing grade here is four. The passing grade. is four and four means a C, okay? And C now is different from before. Um, it is 70%, equivalent to 70%, okay? Time. Human biology is a totally different board, okay? By the way, these two are offered by Cambridge University. O level biology is well, is present, but not accredited by Maglis al Al Gemaat, the Supreme Council of Universities. Tamam, it is out of Egypt. The one which is mastered here in Egypt is the IGCSC biology, which which has this syllabus code for human biology. Okay, um, this is offered by the board of NXL. It is 4HB1, HB. you have 4HB1 and 4HB2 for the papers. Now I'm going to open a data show just to illustrate this thing. Okay, please concentrate with me here. Again, I'm referring, are you seeing this screen? Yes, uh, what a question. What, you have a question, yes? I'm not able to get, what does it mean of nine, uh, dash one, that's what. Nine to one? Yes. Okay, i illustrate again. So from nine to one, I means that the highest grade you get is nine. I will put you a scheme for what is accredited in Egypt. Highest grades are nine, okay, and eight, and both of those are equivalent to A star. Okay, and then you may get a grade of seven, which is equivalent to A. You have, can get a grade of six or five, and both are for B, equivalent to B grade. But if you obtain a six, okay, if you obtain a six, a, uh, it is like 82%. If you obtain a five, this is 80%. If you obtain an A, this means a 95%. If you obtain an A star, okay, it is 100%. Okay? So this, what does it mean? Nine to one. Okay? Um, again, in Egypt, the passing grade is four. If you get three to one, this means that you failed. Are you getting this? Uh, so again, yeah. the syllabus code is 0970, okay? But again, human biology belongs to the curriculum of Excel, 
okay? Also, the grading system follow the same scheme. It is nine to one, okay? With the same criteria, if you get a nine or eight, this means that you got an A star. And this means that it's equivalent to 100%, okay? If you get a seven, this means that you got an A, which is a 95%. Six and five, um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, uh, and six is equivalent to 87. I'm sorry, I'm confused. Five are equivalent to 82%. My bad. And these are like a B. And four, it's like you got a C, which is 70%. Is this clear? How so? Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look together the difference between the assessment criteria in IGCSE 097. If you take this curriculum, you will sit for paper two, paper four, and paper six. Okay, you see this word extended? What does this mean? Because 097, okay, is offered here in Egypt on two stages something called the core stage and extended stage. Core, this is what we study in year nine. Extended, this is what we study in year 10, okay? To sit for out or uh, join the uh, Egyptian universities, you have to take this extended. And you, comp you do part of the course on year nine and then you complete it in year 10, okay? In this case, you're gonna sit for paper two, which is a multiple choice paper awarded for 40 marks. You have 40 uh, multiple choice questions, okay? And these are based on the extended curriculum, okay? Uh, the time for this paper is about 45 minutes and it takes about 30% of the overall grade. Another paper you sit for, which is paper four, this is the theory, Okay, the total marks is 80 marks and it's a short and structured questions. Uh, the time duration for it is one hour, 15 minutes. It makes 50% of the overall grade. The third paper you sit for is paper six, which is alternative to practical. By the way, in another part of the world, you may sit for paper six or paper five. Paper five, this is a practical exam. But the protocol here in Egypt only accredits the paper six. There are some parts of the world sit for paper five, but not here in Egypt. Okay, this is for uh, the um, IGCSE. What about the human biology? Okay. You sit for paper one and paper two only. These are two papers, okay? But both of them have same weight and even the same total marks, okay? I mean that, okay? Each paper has a time of one hour, 45 minutes. The total mark is 90, okay? And but in both of them, you have different a mixture of different question styles, like a MCQ, short answers, extending open response questions, okay, and so on. And again, paper one, paper two, have same time duration, have same weights, and have same style of questions, okay? So again, in human biology, you sit for two papers, but in IGCSE, okay, you sit for three papers, paper two, paper four, and paper six. Is there any questions so far? I'm ready to answer. You can, you can ask now. Um. Did you also say that in Egypt there it is an um, equivalent that you have to take paper six? Okay, what if am I raised in another country, not uh, from, uh, not in Egypt? Uh, you are raised in another country. It is again the protocol in your country. It depends. You are a private candidate or belong to a school. Where are you now? 
I'm in Saudi Arabia nowadays. I think Saudi Arabia, they follow the same protocol as Egypt. Oh. Okay. Saudi Arabia, Emirates, uh, Kuwait, Bahrain, all the Gulf areas follow the same protocol in Egypt. They use paper six. Yeah. Uh, any other question? For me now. The other participants, do you have any question? Mariam, do you see anything that's in the chat room? Mariam, are you there? Yes, Dr. Huda. Is there any question in the chat room? No. Anybody raised hand? I maybe did not see it? No. Okay, should I complete? Yes, please. Okay. So let's compare the contents now in IGCSE and in human biology. Okay. As you see, I have a lot of topics here in IGCSE. You see, we have a chapter called characteristics in living organisms, then organization of the organism and um, movement in and out of cells, biological molecules, enzymes, plant nutrition, human nutrition, transport in plant, transport in animals, disease and immunity, gas exchange, respiration, excretion, coordination, drugs, reproduction, inheritance, variation and selection, organisms in their environment. This is part we call sometimes ecology, okay? Biotechnology and genetic engineering and uh, the rest of it, the human influence. And this is because all these are biology. So you see sometimes parts considering plants. See, plant nutrition, transport in plants, okay? Coordination, this coordination part contains coordination in plants. Also, the part of reproduction also in plants, okay? And so on. This is because, again, this curriculum is biology and biology not only human, but let's take a look here on human biology. The issue is different. You study about cells and tissues. You study biological molecules. Do we have common parts here? Yes, we have. Okay, here are uh, biological molecules here and biological molecules here, okay? Movement of substances in and out, yes, here it is, okay? Um, oh, there is a part which is not part of the uh, IGCS biology, which is bones, muscles, and joints. And this helps you a lot in medical school. In coordination here in the plant, uh, sorry, here in biology, uh, we study in plants and in human, here, human only. This part, nutrition and energy, okay? Yes, we have human nutrition here, okay? Respiration, yes, we have respiration and gas exchange in both curriculum, here they are, okay? Internal transport, this is transport in human, here is it, or in animals, okay? Homeostatic mechanisms. This is the part which contains mechanisms for homeostasis, includes coordination, includes hormonal control, includes the kidney and so on. Reproduction in hereditary, as that is here, yes, it is here also. Disease, yes, we have disease and immunity here somewhere. Yes, here it is, okay. So as you see, there are common topics but they are handled in different ways, okay? Let's take, for example, a topic like cell structure. Here in human biology, wow, we have a lot of contents here, like I'm gonna recognize cells under electron microscope. I'm gonna study all these organelles I'm gonna also uh, take a deep look on structure of DNA and uh, some uh, topics. Sometimes it's included in AS biology. 
okay, which is the replication of DNA, which is the protein synthesis and so on, okay, um, and also talking about mutation and so on, some outline of protein synthesis, okay, included in this chapter, the principles of genetic engineering, mitosis, stages of mitosis, okay, uh, what are stem cells, okay, and the use of stem cells, advantage in ethics and research use of embryonic and adult stem cells. This is the new medicine, by the way, okay, understand cells are grouped into tissues and organs, and then you go through the structure of bone, muscle, tissues, not the chapter of the bones. And then you study the specialized cells and so on. But let's take a look on the same topic here in IGCS eBiology, okay? It is even more simple. We're gonna compare the structure of a plant and animal cell. This is part the students have done it in core and they're gonna add up to it what they knew in the supplement, in the extended part, like studying so those organelles. You also study those in human biology, okay? And the function structure seen under light microscope Okay, also you identify structure and function seen under electron microscope and so on. And then you relate the structure to function, specialized cells. Okay, what is tissue, what is an organ, and the different level of organizations in, and drawings. Okay, understood? Also, for the part of biological molecule, it is a separate chapter in IGCSE, but it is part of the chapter of cell structure in human biology. Okay? Can the cross links and the base pairs and so on? This is something we are going to go in detail when we study these uh, things together. Okay? The part of chromosomes, genes, and proteins, these are not part of the chapter of cell structure. It is part of chapter called inheritance. Okay, in the IGCSE, in the whole biology 0970. Okay, so it seems like they have common topics, but in the meantime, they are distributed in different ways in the curriculum. Okay, and let me go through, um, we have another share. So it seems like The conclusion in both curriculum, you have common topics, but they are handled not only this and assessed. in different ways. Okay. Let me talk about number one, the A-level biology, which is the step you take after. I need to start my A-level biology after finishing the IGCSE biology. You need, to, you need to pass it first, okay? And to pass IGCSE biology, you need to get at least four, which is equivalent to C. 
When you take the 11 biology, you have one of two scenarios. Like, you may take it as linear. You are sitting for both levels, AS and A2 biology. And in this case, you will study the whole course in one academic year. Okay, but you need to realize that it is a, it's a huge work you need to do. If you decide to take the linear, the AS and A2 in the meantime, okay, this means that in this session, you are not sitting for other, a lot of subjects, okay? So uh, in this case, you are going to sit for five papers. And again, you need to take a look with me at the uh, what are the five papers um, sit for now, which is Here it is. Now the AS and the level biology, they are coded by 9700, okay? So when you decide to take the whole 11 in one session, you will sit for all these papers together. Paper one, two, three, four, and five, but some people say, no, I have a lot of subjects to finish. I need to take the AS level first in a session and then complete my A level in another session. Okay, so again, you have two ways. First of all, just to take the AS level. For example, you sit for it in June, 2021, okay? In this case, you will sit for these three papers. I'm giving, just giving an example. Okay. And then you decide to finish your A, your A level and take the A2. And you sit for it in November 2021. Or some people have the time to take the whole A level in one session and sit for it in June 2021. Okay, in this case, for those who decided to take the whole A level, they will sit for the five papers. Okay, as you see. Is this understood? Is this clear actually for, every, for each and every one? Yes, it is. Okay. Any questions so far? No questions? I have to enter the Faculty of Medicine. I have to get a C oh. or A, sir. Okay. This is another issue. Let's again discuss this. You need in Egypt? You mean in Egypt? Yes. In Egypt, we are unique, you know? Okay. <laughs> you need to get which government you, you are going to, uh, uh, to stay in. Uh, Alexandria. Alexandria, 100%. This means that, that all your subjects Okay, you get a star. Okay, but, okay, I will give you some hope. 
There are other governance. You can sit for it by five A star and four A's. Suppose in Tihana, I have a Alexandria, okay? Um, and you got the um, boss one. Family. Get little boss one. And what's the five star, uh, four A's, do not do to boss one. Okay? Well, I am a well, I wish that that as a five star and four A's, this means 98.5%. That's the boss one. Okay? Well, I wish you can hear. I'll just take a while to get the boss one. Shut your head, sir. I'll tell me how to smell that little throw. Okay? Wish I'll throw him come in. Had to be online. Okay? And you pay a fee. The folk, you get a massage if the wheel. أربعة أيام بالضبط وبتجي لك طب اسكندرية. Okay. Huh? What else you need to ask about? Sir, what if I want to be? Uh, I'm in a team. I mean, my my the part that I wanna uh, be a person and uh, the humanity. I'm sorry, the um, uh, yeah. I mean, for example, I want to be a gynecal doctor. Um, how it yeah. came? Um. Uh huh. So, what marks uh, it is essential to be? Okay. Um. Just you know, uh, a moment, young lady. First of all, are you uh, joining the universities here in Egypt or something abroad? No, in Egypt. In Egypt. In Egypt, you're not, you do not specify anything or specialize in anything during your study in college, your undergraduate, okay? Oh. You, yes, in the faculty of medicine, you stay for five academic years. Okay, study everything. And you're gonna practice for two academic years, okay, in the hospitals, general practice. Okay. After that, after spending the whole seven years, okay, you start specializing. Okay. In, uh, in any university abroad, there are four, three or four years, they call it pre-med, pre-medical school. And then you spend four years on what you need, gynecology or whatever, okay? And then you work for three years under supervision, practice. This is abroad. Most of the universities do this. But in Egypt, here in e this is in Egypt. It is totally different. Okay. Okay, thanks. Huh. Any more questions concerning any curriculum, concerning anything you need to ask about universities? Hmm. Nothing? Okay, so it means that everything is clear? I don't even get a reply. <laughs> Everything is clear? Yes. I hope so. Okay, so um, 
that's uh, all يعني, uh, the contents today for the uh, introducing the difference between the three curriculum, the IGCSE, the uh, 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 human biology, and those um, concerning the A-levels and what you need. Okay, um, again, I'm waiting for questions. Is it better to um, enter uh, Cambridge or Oxford or uh, Ericsson? What is the best thing? Uh, uh, it depends on what you want from Cambridge and uh, Ericsson. I don't know. Uh, for example, the uh, faculty of medicine. For what? Faculty of medicine. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. For what? Medicine. Medicine? Yes. Uh, Cambridge? Yes, A level Cambridge is better. It's the best of them. Not Oxford or Edexcel or. Not Oxford or Edexcel. If you want to make an achievement in Faculty of Medicine, A level Cambridge is the best. The, the, the uh, very good reason for Cambridge, Cambridge has five papers to assess. Okay. Cambridge, their mark scheme is very flexible. It has a lot of alternative words. Sometimes in Edexcel, Oxford, if you don't write exactly, and I mean exactly, the keywords stated in Mark Scheme. you lose the mark. And it's the same uh, in uh, the eight uh, or elevens? Yes, in Excel and Oxford, yes. Okay. okay. So but I mean very flexible in Cambridge. I mean that if you write an alternative word, which has Same scientific meaning. You get the mark. You get the difference. Yes, thank you. But I heard from people that uh, Abixel Oxford is um, easier. Uh, yes. Yes. Of course, they are easier in content. By the way, uh, mostly same content in curriculum. Exams are easier. Fine, welcome with an easy exam, but with very strict mark scheme. Are you getting this? Yes. Are you this? Did I illustrate more? Um, yeah. Talking, doctor, about the uh, K, uh, K words, uh, I haven't got it. I mean, there's K words that you have to uh, write in the answer, and these are the ones which uh, can be checked and can give uh, to you the marks. It is also in, in, the, in the Cambridge one. Cambridge, um... Cambridge has keywords, but if you say an alternative word which has the same scientific meaning, you will get the mark. 
they are strict in some parts like the terms like spelling of for example spelling of a nucleus okay if you add an e you lose a mark in excel and oxford but if you add the e in cambridge you get the mark mm. huh now you get it yes because adding of the e did not change the meaning of it mm. okay again yes in excel and oxford are easy their exams are easy but i have a very strict mark scheme mm. okay still a level cambridge is the best okay a level Cambridge, as I told you before, you can take it on two sessions, AS and A2. AS, you get you sit for three papers only. And in another session, you put for you sit for two papers. Okay. Um, as a scientific benefit, A level Cambridge Rock is the best. By the way, I have been teaching the three curriculum, and I found out that the contents of A level Cambridge. Okay, much, much better than Edexcel and Oxford. In Edexcel, contains a lot of ecology, which is something you don't need for faculty of medicine. In Oxford, there is a lot of ecology together with uh, stuff like adaptations to environment. Again, you don't need those in medicine, but for Cambridge, Okay, no, we have a lot of physiological processes. Okay, a lot of interesting thing about the new technologies in medicine. This is very important, which is something included in human biology, by, by the way, Anne. Okay, mm. anything to discuss? Um, um, if the exams um, is currently uh, by the back of each other? Uh, this is something that yeah, depends on the subjects you are taking. Yeah, yeah, uh, sometimes, yes, uh, if you are in, this, in the same session, you are sitting for human biology. And this, the timetable of uh, human biology is set by Edexcel board. Okay, and in the same session you are taking AS biology. Sometimes they are in the back of each other. And this is said by Cambridge because this is another board. Okay, yes, sometimes come in the back of each other. But if you are sitting for just a Cambridge curriculum, okay, no, they are not in the back of each other. Okay, they are in separate days. Yeah. And even sometimes in separate tonses, according to the setup of Cambridge. Uh, I got it. Okay. Hmm. Any other questions? I'm I'm here. Is all the subjects or uh, Cambridge uh, or um, can I? Um, these are made by yeah. uh, Cambridge and some of uh, Ed's and some of Oxford. Yes, yes. You can make a blend between all the words. They are all British words. You can you can choose whatever you want. You know, some people when they sit for Arabic, for example, they use Arabic Edexcel, not Arabic Cambridge, because Arabic Edexcel is much easier. Yes, sir, can I uh, be made by English, uh, like Oxford, uh, yes. Oxford and uh, Cambridge Biology? Yes, yes, you can blend. You can pick from any board you want. Okay. Any more questions? Um, doctor? Yes? Um, how many years are essential to take in Egypt? Uh, as I heard from some people, I think that we must take three 
er, yeah. years or you can say three sessions to three years after grade nine. Hmm. In those three years, you have possible five exam sessions. Exam, for example, if you are started this year, you are year 10, you'll sit for June 2021, and there are possible exam session November 2021, and then June 2022, November 2022, and then the last session for you will be June 2023. There are five sessions on three academic years. Mm, so it is essential in Egypt to have it in three years. Yep. If you increase one session, November 2023, this will delete your results in June 2021. Okay. Hmm. Is there any questions? Um, how to get the get the uh, year twelve is a gap year. Okay, how to do this? Very nice and easy. You if to get. Year 12 as a gap year, you will finish all requirements. I mean the 8 O level and the A level in four sessions. Okay, this means that you will end all your requirements by the end of year 11. Okay, that's it. So you get year 12 as, as a gap year. Okay, how distribute the subjects uh, in the four sessions? Okay, Tom, you tell me what you want to sit for, which which uh, faculty you want to join? Medicine. Medicine, okay. Like, medicine means that it has eight O levels. And one level, you know? One A L biology. Yes. You are in grade 10 now? No, nine. You are in nine, okay, in grade 10, this means that next session, or June 2022, you will take O level bio, chemistry, English, Cambridge or Edexcel, sorry, Cambridge or Oxford, okay, and you will take O level math, but on the math. You can sit for Edexcel or Cambridge. Edexcel is easier? Yes. Okay. Um, and also you sit for all level physics. The mean the huh? June? Uh, uh, 2022. No, that means really the start of grade 10. Okay, type November 2022. You will start AS biology. Okay, and you can pick an O level, but my coach Fiam was a correct year, like Arabic. La Arabic not offered for November. Or can offer last November as in the lockdown in the hustle for June. Like in Edexcel, don't have a November session. They have 
January or June. Okay? But you can take, for example, French. ICT. If you want to, okay, enough for me as biofine, no problem. Okay? Then you will start June 2023. You will do your A2 biology and two other subjects with them, okay? Like you sit for computer sciences. Uh, what if I don't like computer? Fine. Accounting, business, economics, or now you may have the Arabic at Excel. Any two of those, not more, not more than two. Yani, uh, the A2 plus any two of those. And you pick those two or those two, any two of those. Not more than two subjects with the A2 biology. A2 needs a lot of concentration when you are doing it because it's a very strong curriculum. So you will pick any two. So what is the difference between uh, S and A2? How many uh, subjects will be left? Okay, let's count. You've got here five. We are five subjects, five O levels. In November 22, this is the start of the AS. Somebody was asking with what is the difference? Okay, AS is the first stage and A2 is the second stage. If you take with AS biology French, for example, so now you finished the sixth O level. If you pick A2 and any two of those, you can, you, you, now you are done with two O-levels. This means that you are done with the eight O-levels. Okay, somebody can tell me it's enough for me. I don't want to take anything beside the as biology. Fine, no problem. Okay, you still have other sessions in the future. Like, June 2023, I will sit for November 2023. Okay, you can pick by any O level, take an O level. And by this session, you are done. Okay, you are done with the five O levels. You are done here with two O levels and the last O level here. Okay, five, six, eight, you are done with the eight. And also you are done with the A level. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Now you can have a gap year. Uh, can I have uh, like one subject to be given uh, in the year 12? Yes, you can. Extra more than the eight, yes. Hmm. Questions. Uh, doctor, uh, if there is any subject that you can suggest for us uh, from the accounting or business or economic, which one is better in your opinion? In my opinion, economics. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then comes the accounting because those two subjects, highest probability of star as well as the Arabic and human biology, of course. If I'll go to the medicine, it's better for me to uh, uh, to uh, take the human biology? Yes. So for example, teacher, um, sorry, doctor, if I had to ask um, the map or plane you had uh, wrote now, and mm -hmm. in the last one, which is June 2023, uh, we took human biology and Arabic and A2, A2 biology. That's it. Uh, this, huh? this one, this session? Yes. Mm. In June 2023, the second June for you. Okay, you sit for A2 bio plus human bio plus Arabic. This is enough. Will it be hard or... 
not hard. You know what? In Arabic in Excel, there is one big fat advantage. You know what it is? What it is? Their exam sessions, the exam time are at the end of June. They don't clash. with other subjects. So, uh, doctor, when I had seen the past papers for Cambridge, I had seen it easy because it doesn't require a lot of grammar. Uh, uh -huh. And in Excel, does it also require a lot of grammar? Yep. Oh, so I a, lot of <laughs> a lot of grammar. Um, to, uh, for example, in the in June 2023, I'm taking all the subjects are Cambridge course. Will there is be uh, will it also uh, going to be in the back of each other or is there will be a gap? Do you think this one? You, you mean this one? Mm, okay, it would be. Okay, it's um, again we uh, this is the timetable is set by Cambridge. Sometimes it happens. Mm. By the way, um, if you want to take a look on the on that exam timetable, uh, the uh, uh, exam timetable table for June twenty twenty one are, are launched. Final exam timetable is now is now there on the web. You can uh, search for it and you um, open uh, according to the syllabus code. Okay, remember that Cambridge offer a lot, a lot of O-levels. You need to know the syllabus code for your subjects. As I told you before, for the biology, it is 0970. Okay, for the O-level biology. But for the chemistry, I think it's different. Okay, so look at the uh, syllabus code and find the exam timings. They are there in the web nowadays. Thanks, doctor. You're welcomed. Any more questions? Um, Miss Now, um, I'm in uh, Arab Academy, but uh, this um, Arab Academy uh, doesn't allow uh, Ad Excel or Oxford. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, I will. What about changing the school uh, next year? Is be uh, better or? Uh, be uh, in the same school? Um, you know, uh, to give you an opinion of this, okay, based on a lot of criteria. Number one, will you be, um, I, uh, I don't want to say broken heart or something, but are you going to be sad to leave your friends? Okay. Number two, are you used to the school and you don't, you don't want to leave your school? But if you're see, seeking for your own sake, okay, you have to look for the place which offer you all of the things you need. Okay, the British education is open for each and everyone. If you prefer to, to, to uh, choose between boards, okay, I think you get the best of each board. Oxford has one benefit, which is the English much easier than Cambridge, and a higher probability of getting a star. In Edexcel, the best subjects they have is the Arabic and human biology, by the way. It's very easy to get a star in them. In Cambridge, the whole the other subjects like the O-level, by the way, math Edexcel is much easier also, okay? And much easier than Cambridge, and there is a, a more probability to get a star in in uh, in math in Excel O level. Okay, mm -hmm. but in Cambridge the A levels are very precious concerning the sciences and even the A level math. Okay, and other subjects in Cambridge are much better. Okay, so again, it's your career you are making, and you need to pick all the subjects or all the options that make you get the mark you need to join the college you want or you dream of, okay? So it's you who have to make the decision. 
Doctor. Yeah. Maybe the question that I will go to say is a bit silly, but I want to ask really. Um, about the medicine. Yeah. Is then as humanity or what? As humanity. Military. I know humanity. It's humanity. 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 Yes. yes. What about it? Is it is um, the same for medicine or no? No. How it is? You said humanity. Yes. Uh, you just right, humanity. Uh, it's on the chat. You mean? I hear it right. Yes, that's it. What, okay. Uh, what do you mean? Okay. It means in Arabic. It's in Arabic, by the way. You can speak in Arabic. Uh, I don't know exactly, but I hear my parents say it in this way. Ah, okay. Bashari? Or Is that Bashari. The same for medicine? Yes, it is. But for the battery, it is eternity. I hear of animals, right? Ah, this is the tail of the animals, the animals, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Another question. Yes. Um, what schools in Egypt in Cairo really is good for the tuition of IG? CSE. Uh, it depends on the region you are living in Cairo. Where do you live in Cairo? In Mugamma al Khams. Tagamma al Khams? Tagamma al Khams, out of Hagalia, Madinia, Mosque, Saint Fatima. Saint Fatina? Saint Fatima, Fatima. Oh. That's for. I don't know if it's called Medina Nasr. I think I'm not sure if it's called Medina Nasr, but I know that Medina Nasr is from there. By the way, from where you are, Doctor Hood? I'm from Alexandria. Oh. And I'm not sure if I'm right or not. There's a school in the Rehab called Ramses. This is a good one. And one of my friends teaches there in Ramses. Okay, is there any question else? Biology or something else? But I'm not sure if I'm here, I'm going to get a lot of them. No problem at all. Okay. Huh? Okay, what is your advice for us to, because I'm in grade nine, year nine, really? Yeah, so I just have a. View. I want to have a view about IG. So, what uh, is your advice to us uh, before entering IG? First of all, you have to make your decision. As I said before, about staying in Egypt or abroad, but it seems like you are staying in Egypt. So, okay, to arrange your subjects, as I said. If you are sitting in June 2022, okay, this man means that you will finish the five O levels, as I said before. Okay. Dol Cambridge curriculum. English, other Ahdul Cambridge or Oxford. Okay. Math. أقدر برضو أخذ كامبريدج أو إدكسل. Your first November نصيحتي ما خدش مواد في كتير لو أنا داخل مدرسين يبقى أي أس بيولوجي أونلي. بلاش أعمل فيها تلات رجال بعض وأقول أخاخد أكتر من كده. لا أي أس بيولوجي أونلي. 
because of the limit of the time, right? Limited time, and then biology, the AS biology, is practical. So, you know, we need to remember that this is theoretical and practical. Okay. June 2023, biology. Okay. ممكن بقى اخد معاه حاجة لطيفة كده زي ما قلنا قبل كده Arabic in Excel ما بحبش Arabic no problem ما حدش يخصبك على حاجة or French or أي بقى حاجة من المواد التجارية Business Economics Accounting بس ما بنصحش بال Accounting مع ال A2 Balish Economics كويس أوكي آخر بقى نوفمبر نوفمبر 2023 أنا هفضل لي مادة أو ليفل واحدة. أوكي؟ واحدة بس. أختار بقى من أي حاجة أنا ما عرفتش أخدها قبل كده. ويبقى عندي جاب هير. Got it? This is my advice. أوكي؟ okay. And good luck for you all. I hope إن أنا كده كنت of a benefit for each and every one of you. Now you know the difference between O level, human biology. Okay. By the way, Fines mistakenly faker in the Mumkin human biology replace O level biology. Le. By the way, if you subject is my literature, Mumkin Akhoda Badil English. Okay. Literature can replace English. And literature, you can take it as a separate subject and English. Okay. Is it easier? Yeah, I mean, yes, it is easier. Uh, what the concept uh, 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 is it? There are poetry, there are drama, there is a novel. Oh, no, okay. Yeah. Uh, about the content while uh, studying any subject in IJ, uh, shall we have an, uh, outside resources or we can just concentrate on the book itself? Uh, preferably in IGCSEs, don't go in other resources. In, in all levels, preferable to use the uh, books endorsed by Cambridge. Okay? Mm -hmm. For the A levels, there is also another reference for uh, endorsed by Cambridge, but there are some other resources which are beneficial from the web or from some sites suggested by Cambridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thanks. Any more questions? Okay, I hope uh, you enjoyed the session. Okay, I uh, hope to see you in a further one, inshallah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dr. Rula. It was a really valuable session. You're welcome, Maria. You're welcome, dear. Okay. Yeah. See you, inshallah. Bye. Thanks a lot. Bye. I would just like to. Yes. I just want to remind everyone that uh, the recorded session will will be posted on YouTube. And we have we also are offering another free session today with Mr. Muhammad, Arabic free session at seven thirty, inshallah, if they like to join. Thank you.